The time has come again. Oh, look at that guy sink into the river. That's just, or the lake. Sorry. How did I get that word wrong, right? Uh, so this is, there we go. A new game. This one's not a rusty lake game. It's called, it's a pair. It's a cube escape game. Uh, the exact difference between the two is not entirely clear to me anymore as the later games com uh, continue. When the first Rusty Lake came, games came out, I'm like, okay, I can see how this is different from Cube Escape. But as the things go on a bit more, I'm like, I'm a little more... I guess it's just the cube, right? Like, I guess it's just a matter of, is this going to be a cube-based screen or not? Because I guess Rusty Lake games are... No, not even that's true. I was going to say the Rusty Lake games are games where you, like, drag and you drag across a 2D plane and, nav and navigate that way instead of rotating. But, like, the first Rusty Lake game was Ho Rusty Lake Hotel... Which was like another Cube Escape game in every... I don't know. I'm sure that somebody somewhere has a better idea of what the rule is. But here we go. Uh, so this game was kickstarted. I was so tempted. I almost did it. Just to get the artwork for it. Just the, the physical stuff. Uh, did not do it ultimately. Uh, but they made a movie alongside the game. And if you're wondering what order to watch them in... Uh, the creators themselves say both are valid. I'm putting the movie in the playlist, so you can watch that whenever you want to. Uh, personally, I get the feeling you should play the game first, or watch the game first, or whatever. Because I think, but like, I, I guess from your guys' perspective, you can go either way. Because my understanding is that they both tell the same story, and even go through the same events. To the point where I think they even have the same puzzles. Like, it shows the puzzles from the game in the movie. Like, they're really one-to-one. -one. Uh, so I guess no matter what happens, whichever one you experience first will spoil the other one. So it's your choice, I guess. If you're planning on playing the game, I would guess you probably want to play the game first. But if you're just going to watch both of them, then I guess you might as well watch them in either order. Because they're going to ultimately be analogous to each other. So there it is, out on the table. Let's get started. This is Cube Escape Paradox. Oh, there it is. There's the name. There's chapter one, there's the movie, and there's chapter two. Can you watch the movie in the game? I didn't really think about that. Uh, so uh, the, the their model this time around is that chapter one is free, and chapter two costs a bit of money so that's their new approach every cube escape until now i think was free but every rusty leg game costs like a dollar or two or three and now they're doing play the first chapter for free second chapter costs you a little bit i'll have to double check whether or not i actually bought chapter two yet i forgot actually oh well chapter one where am i have i been here before Is she here? Use arrows to, to move around. Oh, these arrows, right. Yeah, the ones are always there. Huh. I wonder if the cube escape paradox in any way is a paradox between the game and the movie. Like, they're both real and they're both happening and on a loop with each other or something. I don't know. Hello? Yeah, that was a part of the Kickstarters. You'd get a copy of that, which was very tempting. All right, let's start with the first room. Let's inspect closely. It's been a little while. I had a groove going on for a while where I was really used to playing these games because I was going through their backlog, but now I have to wait for them to come out and I've got to readjust the feeling. Let's spam click a little bit. You never know when surprises will happen on strange objects like that. Ooh, you can zoom in on this. Can't get these out. Maybe, maybe if I get a screwdriver. This one's identical. There's this little pattern on it. Is that on the other one? Yeah, they're identical. I wonder if you can unscrew one and attach it to the other one to finish the circle or something like that. Are we going to have weird tricks with antlers again? I think I've pulled an antler off before. I think I've clicked on it and it sprouted flowers before. I think I've had this thing shoot blood out of its mouth. Like, we've had really weird moments with those things. I just plug you in? Oh, you're broken. That one plugs in. This one, less so. We'll have to fix you up. But that one plugs into here, seemingly? What about this globe? Ooh. It reacts to my touch. Can I slide it? 
and move it. I don't know what this means. It keeps flashing at me. I don't know. What, I don't know what that means. This TV. Can I turn it on? It's probably unplugged, right? Maybe a combination I need from somewhere else. No, I mean it's unplugged for now. I need to fix that wire before I can do anything else with that. The dresser. Nothing up top. I need a key for that. Key for that. This one doesn't need a key, but it has a combination on it. One, two, three, four, five with symbols. The one I think it's the ones we're usually yeah, it's the ones we usually see, more or less. I need to find that combination. Cool. That's the first screen down. Oh, the, the parrot's back. Haven't we seen you die before? Have we seen you die multiple times? I don't even remember anymore. We're used to that sound for sure. Of course, who knows where this even lands in a timeline, if there even reasonably is one anymore. A key for somewhere. All right. Maybe just leave you open. This seems to be a combination. Oh. Okay. So I gotta put them in the right order. Okay. Let's put you over here. And put you over here. My goal is to get this little eye in the right spot. Cool. Tree's always already kind of in the right spot. I need to get this eye past it. Oh, that S needs to be over there. That's a problem for me. Ah, you two just have to switch with each other. Okay. Let's see. Gotta get you to the end, which means I gotta get everything out of the way, basically. Uh, huh. How best to do? Put the tree back in the end. And just get you guys past each other. So that now you're in the right spot. Now I just need to you, you get you guys past each other. Oops. There we go. That's probably it. Yep. That did something. Does it just open you? Yeah. Got a piece of a photo. Or somewhere. And these guys must do something later. Alright, got a key. It's a good start. Do you not open? Maybe you open when I solve that stuff, which... Who knows? Let's go back and see if the key works here. Before I go too far forward. Nope. There was no locks around here, so this key... Has an unknown purpose. There's no lock here, is there? I can't open the parrot cage. Not sure about that. Ooh. Oh, it's a toggle. I thought I was dragging it. So you click it and it opens and closes. For reasons unclear. Mirror. He's visibly holding the key. That's interesting. I'm a bit cold. So we're playing as the... In he was the detective, right? The inspector? He's definitely the guy... I think that's the guy that's been the protagonist of, like... Several of the games. I don't know if he, is he called the is he actually a detective or he just has a vaguely inspectory kind of look and play and is a protagonist of a, of a puzzle game and, a, and an adventure game, which inherently makes me think he might be one. Uh, I think he might just be called the man. We've definitely played as him a lot. I think he might he might be the most common protagonist of the Cubescape series series, but I'm not actually sure. There's a lot of them, and some of them are over in 20 minutes, so they're a lot, it's a lot harder to remember in detail at that point. So, maybe they're built that way and that's just a shelf, or maybe the top drawer is missing in both of these. They both have the same shape triangle that looks like a play button pointing left, which I guess is just a play button. No, that's a reverse play button, isn't it? Cigar. Can't take the ashes. Oop. This will go here. That's a photograph. By which I mean, that's, that's a live action photograph. That's not a... That's me, probably, right? I think that's the actor that plays this guy in the movie. And that's probably the woman in the dress that's also prominently in this series. 
Are these normal still? I think the lights are all identical still. That is some good art. You can see, uh... I think it's a combination of like watercolors and inking and stuff like that. It's really cool. You can see on their on their YouTube, you can watch the sort of time lapses of the guy uh, painting it. Uh, not, I think it was not entirely complete anime uh, one. It was like kind of uh, incomplete because their camera ran out of batteries or something. But it's it's a cool piece of art. Hello. Why can't I pull you down? Okay. There's some sort of incomplete writing over here. Otherwise, I'm not sure what to do with that. We have a phone. Rusty like mental health and fishing. We will help you balance the substance of your past lives. After completion of our mental health program, you will be reborn. Not the blue vial. D. Not the blue vial. Information. Uh, let's do... Nine. Can I do this? Doesn't move. Can't drag it. Can't click on the buttons. No. That was gonna be like nine one one. Sing it with me, everybody. First step to do in these kinds of situations is always nine one one. That probably works there. Yeah, it does. I got a weird block. I got a weird pencil. I've got a weird photo piece. I've got completely regular scissors. Oh, I bet that's spooky. The photo over, I'm just curious. Oh yeah. Fitting together. Oh yep, and that's definitely her. But why? And who would take that photo? And why are they posing like that? I got several questions at that point. Hmm. What do I do with the pencil? Do I use the pencil to dial the phone? No? Yes, I do. Uh. That didn't work without the pencil, did it? Oh, it did work without the pencil. It just wasn't reacting? Okay. Huh. Nine. One. One. Police? Police? Oh. Not this time. I bet that the wooden blocks go here. They do. Okay. Uh, I... I guess that must have been the right spot. I just kind of clicked somewhere and it seems to have done something. But I didn't actually have any idea what order to put them in. Why a cigar, though? All right, clock. Ah, you can make it point at something. All right, potentially need a combination to input then. Can't look at the base. All right, dare I? Oh, I don't. There's no cassette. Yeah, there's no cassette. I need to find a cassette first. Whoops, I thought I was putting it off a little bit. I checked all of these. Yeah. I take that that that's the door to the next door the room next door, which is chapter two. I gotta to some extent, uh I've grown to respect these games a bit more. I mean I always liked them, but I've played a few other attempts at escape uh cube uh room es escape room games. They're bad. Like <laughs> so many of them are so bad. Uh, the genre as a whole, as a video game genre, is not a good genre. They're really bad games. Uh, so I've, I gotta, like, hand it to them how consistently pretty good basically this entire series is, uh, by, in that, by those standards. Because they, everyone just does a really bad job. There's, they're really just, it's just a really bad genre, and I'm like, I, I don't know why it's so bad. To the point where, like, Capcom doing it as a goof in Resident Evil 7 was one of the better options. There's a Resident Evil Escape Room DLC for Resident Evil 7, and like, you guys just casually made one of the best escape rooms because so many of them were so bad, and it wasn't even that great, honestly. I woke up in this room. I feel different. 
I felt different, less real. Where is she? Can I type on it? F that goes away. Okay, I was like, that's I'm a little feel I feel a little bad for writing that permanently. Maybe I have to answer the question, <clears throat> and then uh, that's how I beat it. Is this the first plant I looked at? No, it's another one, isn't it? Not a lot going on here. Just a typewriter. What am I going to use a coat for? Can I put it back? <laughs> what do I use a coat for? Or a pencil for? Is this at all useful in fixing the wire? Because I imagine not. No. What am I even plugging in over here? Hey! That's what the... Okay, the light switch I flipped turned on that light. Which gave me another piece of the photo. Which we're closer to finishing than I thought. There's like one left. That's making way faster progress than I expected. Why is... What do I do with the random ash? Maybe nothing, ever. Pencil goes into there. Pull it down. Drag. Drag. Dra I don't know if I can drag it. Pencil to finish the text. Cigar. Mr. Crow and the ghost, the shadow, the specter. Curious about how these are locked. Like, how do you unlock them? Should I be interested in this trail going up the wall? Or is it not interesting? Pull you back. Does that affect how it looks when I go over here? Not really. In fact, you don't even stay pulled back, do you? Maybe I can, like, put a thing on where I can see this differently, and I'll see that something's written on the wall and, like, a weird thing if I can see through the whatever. Let's try to feed things to the parrot. Let's try to cut the parrot's head off. That changed tone really fast, didn't it? What would I use? So those- both boxes are open. This doesn't seem to react to me. Doesn't- this is weirds me out because it doesn't say locked. And it won't open. It just doesn't open. Maybe I need the other handle somewhere? Back it, use on this. And you don't put on the dr you know, it's, it's that you use that as a- usually as a barrier to dress behind or something, so, you know, a jacket. Maybe I'll put that there. Put the jacket over you? But why did I open you up in the first place then? What, it, what does a jacket have to do with anything? Uh, maybe I can call the phone number of the Rusty Lake helpline. I have a clock. I woke up in this room, I feel different, less real. That doesn't say a time. So I can't input a time here. I've opened all of you at this point. So I need a time, and I don't know what it is. I need a thing to cut. Can I cut the... Oh, yep. That's what it is. I cut- I cut the plant. How about you? Nah. I can see the little Hanna-Barbera effect here, though, where one piece of it that's animated looks different from the rest. You can see this one would get cut off if I use the scissors for the first time here. This one's the one that would come off, because, uh, it's a different resolution than the rest of them. Uh, but I already have one. It's probably all you need. It's probably for you. No, it's not. I'd feed you the plant. Raises a new question. No idea what's up with the globe. Look at the bottom part. Hmm. I don't think I know what that combo is. Where was the pamphlet? No. Rusty Lake, mental health, and fishing. Yeah, it's not a phone number. Balance the substance of your past lives as your completion of your mental health program. Not the blue vial. Not a phone number. Is that a number? That's probably 588. That looks more like a V though. Not the blue vial. So you can't, like, just draw on this? <laughs> like a monster? Or cut it? Ooh. 
Cut the picture out. Cut anything out. Cut my jacket. No, you can't use items on each other in this game. I don't think... I think you have to put it on... You have to put it down if you want to use it somewhere. Pencil these things out. No, we're not screwing those out with a pencil. Uh, maybe, maybe the scissors. The go-to, if, if not a screwdriver, uh, games also def uh, tend to default to coins. Let's see, we can't look at the roof in this game. Some of the games started letting you look at the, f the ceiling. That seems to not be a thing we're doing right now. Can't even look at the... thing. The... jacket holder? What do you call those? It's, uh, wow. Uh... The word is skipping on me right now. You wanna hold my jacket? <laughs> Would you want the twig? You're similar visually. But also, there's been weird interactions between twigs and whatnot. Is there a place... As far as I can think of, there'd be like nothing I could use to fix this. Maybe the scissors could conduct the signal, maybe? But they're not designed for- I don't know. Doesn't make much sense to me. And the block's just sitting there? I can't- oh, I actually can't- oh, I can close that one. But not this one. Evidently. Oh, it's open again, but only at that angle. That one's sun, that one probably had a moon on it. I don't think that's necessarily relevant. I put the block in, which I guess this must open when all the blocks are in place. Anything? I'm a bit cold. Do you like a cigarette? Oh, and I click on something, it shows up. I probably have to solve something here, huh? Wig. Oh, this is how I can combine items, potentially. Oh, he's a bit cold. Here's your jacket. Um... Hi. Oh, bye. You want to cut your hair? You have scissors. Nope. Ah. Via this window, you can actually use item on item in your inventory, which is not normally the case in this series. Interesting. Alright, well now he's smoking, I guess. And he's... Uh, it's not lighted, so now I need to find fire. Did anything change in the room, though? Oh. Photo piece, the last one. That's what I was missing. The somewhat unintuitive thing of I have to look in the mirror in order to do things. Uh, okay, new mechanic. The woman, blue typewriter. I guess I'll type the woman. Ooh. Yeah, that's what I said. Something on the back. Oh. Draw to fill. Am I supposed to draw him? Oh, use the pencil. Right. Not a really much of a draw, is it? I was like, I'm gonna try to trace the lines and be a real pro about this, but apparently I should just fill him all in. There we go. I'm helping. What the la does the last one say anything? I didn't check. I have to get out of here. I know I did it before, but the door is closed. Let's draw a handle. Am I drawing... I mean, scribbling on the door? This is a weird mechanic. It's, why am I... Okay. What do I keep thinking of her? I never met this woman. It was just another murder case. I'm just coloring it in really badly. What do I know about her? How did she die? Uh... He's fine. Everything's fine. Case 23 might be the key to escape my mind. Do I, oh, am I gonna get a key out of this? A I, got, I got a literal key. I did not color that in very well, by the way. Look how little I did, and it's like, yeah, that's close enough. <laughs> Case 23. 
That's one of the that was one of the previous games was called Case 23. So I've got the key. I've got the golden key. Should go here. There's Case 23. Case 23. The death of Laura Vanderboom. Evidence A. Body of woman. Uh, evidence A. Body woman. Evidence B. Newspaper article. Evidence C. Prescription. Evidence D. Contest. Rust Rusty Lake. Evidence E. Piece of dress. DBAC. Huh. If I were to guess, I would say that we need a piece of her dress in order to continue with some other puzzle. And if I place these four photos in here, I'll gain the dress, like it'll generate, basically. Prescription, contest, newspaper article, body of woman. I have scissors and a twig, so I feel a little unequipped for this. Camera? Slide show? Camera? Oh, it's a projector. I thought it was the thing you look- I thought it was one of the ones you look into. Like to- What do you- I don't know what to call those, actually. V slide viewers or whatever? Little things you would hold up to your face and you'd point it at the sun so you'd get, like, light coming at you and there'd just be a little slide inside of the viewer and you'd look at it through that. Like, there's like a microfilm viewer or something. But that's just a projector. So it's just shining it behind me. I gotta pull this down, and it won't do it for some reason? Why do you- why do you fight me? Why do you fight me? I might not, might not have a slide yet either, though. But more importantly, we have all these other shelves. Including strange jars. Evidence. A tape. Slide. Woman found dead. Murder or suicide. Newspaper article. Alright, let's put that in its place, right off the bat. There you go. Oh. Hey there. We have a symbol. We have a symbol. Oh, uh, the five of them. That's probably the order of the symbols. Like, that's a T shape. Upside down T shape. It's probably going to be here. Yeah. Let's put you all back to the Black Widow thing. Slash hourglass. There we go. That'll be my default. Which will be a problem the moment one of them is that. Let's look at the slide. Will it let me pull the thing down now, or do I have to fix it somehow? It will not come down. Uh, I think I'm supposed to click those two spots? Yeah, it's projecting a pic an image of the room. A spot to the top left of the of the parrot, and then the bottom left of the dresser. Maybe. Oh, no! I just got too close to you. Bottom left of the dresser. No. It might. I might have to pull the thing down correctly to get more information. About what that's referring to. Or maybe it has to be aligned in some way, but I don't know why this won't come down. Let's play the tape. Wrong spot. There it is. Eject. There we go. Eject. There we go. Mr. Vandermeer. Please tell me about your dream. I was watching TV. It was me on the screen. But I looked different, more real. And then I said, Enin Xis Xis Lenach. Did I talk backwards? I looked different. More real. I get what they're referring to if they're talking about the movie, uh, but it's real fucking weird for him to say more real as if to imply that he feels less real normally. Mm. 